Chapter 84 Is it okay to follow my family tradition of devotion to Rama and Krishna? Do what you like. Engage yourself in that particular spiritual atmosphere if you wish. When you are worshipping and singing bhajans, it keeps you in a sattvic atmosphere where you are always thinking about your reality, your master and spirituality. When we recite the mantra, we are doing it to halt the flow of concepts. You will enjoy reciting the mantra and singing the bhajans. Rama and Krishna are the names that were given to the ultimate truth. Rama and Krishna do not have any independent identity. Who knew of Rama prior to beingness? And after leaving the body, will Rama still be there or Krishna? You started to identify Rama and Krishna only after your identification with the body form. If the spirit disappeared from the body, you will not be able to identify Rama, Krishna or any master or disciple. Prior to being this, you did not know anything. You did not know of Rama, Krishna or any other master. Nothing was known. So that reality is to be absorbed. Rama, Krishna, etc. are only names for that supernatural power within you. Be firm. I am specifically asking you to be firm. Do not allow any illusory concepts to enter. There is nothing happening. No one is going to give you a boon and no one is going to curse you. You are all and all is you. You are alone. You yourself are Almighty God. Your invisible presence is Almighty God. Everything is there within you. Sri Ram, Sri Krishna, everybody. Datatriya as well. You are Datatriya. It is a fact, but you refuse to accept it. The listener within you is Almighty God. What more do you want? You are subtler than the sky or space. You are. You are everybody. You are that. Accept what I am placing before you because it is your truth.